Hello and welcome. This is a video on demand. Actually, I got some requests from the subscribers to take some numerical problems on natural draw. And especially, I got a specific request from one of the students from Assam Engineering Institute. And Mr. Biki Gogoi requested me to solve this specific numerical problem on natural draw. And he requested me to solve this problem. This is the problem estimate the height of a chimney to produce a static draught of 20 millimeter of water if the mean temperature of the flue gases in the chimney is 250 degree centigrade and the temperature of outside air is 20 degree centigrade the densities of atmospheric air and flue gases at ntp and ntp means normal temperature and pressure are 1.293 and 1.34 kg per meter cube respectively. So according to the question, static draught WH is equal to 20 millimeter of water. Temperature of the flue gases Tg is equal to 250 degree centigrade. Temperature of the atmospheric air Ta is equal to 20 degree centigrade. And the densities of the atmospheric air at NTP. NTP that means normal temperature and pressure. Normal temperature is 0 degree centigrade and normal pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure. And this density is equal to 1.293 kg per meter cube. Density of atmosphere at 0 degree centigrade and 1 atmospheric pressure. That means at NTP. And density of the hot gases or flue gases at NTP is equal to 1.34 kg per meter cube so to solve this problem we need to take one basic assumption assumption is the volume of the flue gases is equal to the volume of the air supplied when both are reduced to the same temperature and pressure and in this case the temperature is 0 degree centigrade and pressure is one atmospheric pressure that means normal temperature and pressure and suppose capital v naught is the volume of the air at ntp and small v naught is equal to the specific volume of air at normal temperature and pressure and rho naught is the density of air at normal temperature and pressure and which is 1.293 kg per meter cube similarly small v a is the specific volume of air at 20 degree centigrade and rho a is the density of air at 20 degree centigrade that means atmospheric temperature also capital v naught g is the total volume of the flue gases or combustion gases at NTP and small v naught g is the specific volume of flue gases at normal temperature and pressure and rho naught g density of flue gases at NTP is equal to 1.34 kg per meter cube which is given in this problem. Rho g is the density of the flue gases at 250 degree centigrade and vg small vg is equal to the specific volume of the flue gases at 250 degree centigrade temperature of the flue gases and according to the assumptions capital v naught is equal to v naught g also suppose m a is the mass of the air supplied per kg of fuel burnt and m g which is equal to m a plus 1 kg of flue gas per kg of fuel so m a is mass of air supplied per kg of fuel burn so per kg means 1 kg of fuel burn that is why m g is equal to m a plus 1 so according to the question density of air at normal temperature and pressure that is rho naught equal to mass divided by total volume mass per unit volume and this value is given 1.293 kg per meter cube now what is specific volume specific volume of air at ntp that is v naught equal to volume divided by mass mass does not change with temperature that is why i am writing m a we can also write m naught but m naught equal to m a so volume divided by mass that means 
स्पेसिफिक वॉल्यूम इज द रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ स्पेसिफिक डेंसिटी और डेंसिटी सो डिस वैल्यू विल गेट स्पेसिफिक वॉल्यूम इक्वल टू पॉइंट सेवन सेवन थ्री फोर मीटर क्यूब पर के जी नाउ वी नो दैट करेक्टरिस्टिक गैस इक्वेशन इज पी वन वी वन डिवाइडेड बाई टी वन इज इक्वल टू पी टू डिवाइडेड सॉरी पी टू वी टू डिवाइडेड बाई टी टू एंड इफ पी वन इज इक्वल टू पी टू देन दिस इक्वेशन इज वी वन डिवाइडेड बाई टी वन इक्वल टू वी टू डिवाइडेड बाई टी टू सो दैट मीन्स वॉल्यूम इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्सनल टू टेम्परेचर तो वॉल्यूम इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्सनल टू टेम्परेचर दैट इज द सॉल्ट लॉ सो इन दिस केस इफ द प्रेशर डिफरेंस इज वेरी वेरी लो इन दिस केस द प्रेशर डिफरेंस इज वेरी वेरी लो सो वी कैन अप्लाई द सॉल्ट लॉ दैट द एटमोस्फेरिक एयर एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेंट्रीगेट विच इज इक्वल टू टी ए इफ इट इज रिड्यूस्ड to ntp that means temperature is t not then volume also changes from va to v not that means specific volume changes so we can apply this law that v not divided by t not equal to va divided by ta which is called the sarl's law but please remember that the temperature t not we have to write in kelvin scale similarly ta is equal to 293 kelvin in kelvin scale so we can also write this in this form t not by v not equal to ta by v a and we can rewrite this in this form now what is 1 upon v not that is the reciprocal of v not that means this is the density 1 upon v not is density that means density is reciprocal of specific volume and specific volume is the reciprocal of density so we can write rho not t not is equal to rho a t a and in this equation we will use to find the value of rho a we know rho not we know t not which is 0 degree centigrade and we also know ta which is 20 degree centigrade and this way we can also apply in case of the flue gases so density of the flue gas at ntp is rho not c that is equal to mg by v mass per unit volume and this value is also given 1.34 kg per meter cube so specific volume at ntp specific volume of the flue gases reduced to normal temperature and pressure is small v not g volume per unit mass mass of the gas in this case it is mg not ma and that is also the reciprocal of the density so specific volume of the gas at ntp is equal to 0.746 meter cube per kg so in this case also we can apply the sarl's law so applying sarl's law So in this case, the flue gas temperature is 250 degree centigrade, and here the volume is specific volume is V G. Specific volume of the flue gas will be V not G when it is reduced to NTP normal temperature and pressure. So here also we can apply the Searle's law. Then V not G divided by T not equal to V G divided by T G. So in this case also we will consider the value of tg te temperature of the flue gas as 523 kelvin we can rewrite this equation t not by v not g equal to tg by vg so so this is rho not g density of the gas at 0 degree centigrade or at ntp into t not that means 0 degree centigrade or 273 kelvin rho g that we have to find out tg we know that is equal to 523 kelvin so now let us apply this equations so we get rho not t not equal to rho a t a 
so we can also write this like the rho a t a equal to rho naught t naught so what is rho a what is rho a density of air at atmospheric condition that means at 20 degree centigrade equal to this much rho naught t naught by t a so uh, so now we can put the value of rho naught t naught and t a rho naught is this is given 1.293 kg per meter cube and T naught equal to 0 degree centigrade that means 273 Kelvin and T A this is the value of T A 20 degree centigrade that means this is 293 Kelvin so if you do the calculation you should get this value 1.205 kg per meter cube that is the density of air at 20 degree centigrade now similarly we can use this formula also rho g t g equal to rho naught g into t naught so let us put the values so rho g that means density of flue gas at 250 degree centigrade is this much now we can put the values here this is given and this is t naught and this is t g t g is 250 degree centigrade that means 523 kelvin now if we do the calculation we will get the value of rho g that is equal to 0.699 kg per meter cube we got an equation for static drought that equation is static drought of a chimney of height h is equal to the pressure difference which we can also measure in terms of millimeter and that is equal to h height of the chimney and rho g sorry then rho a minus rho g this is in kg per meter square so now let us put the values accordingly we already got the value of rho a equal to this much and rho g equal to this much now we can use this formula h w is equal to h multiplied by this now we can put the values this is given h w is 20 millimeter of water or 20 kg per meter square and these are the values now if you simplify you will get the value of h which is the height of the chimney and this is approximately equal to 39.526 meter so this is the height of the chimney the question was estimate the height of the chimney according to a question the height of the chimney h equal to 39.526 meter so i think this problem will help you so thank you